What is going on, guys? Grave here today. Let's talk about Call of Duty Vanguard or Call of Duty World War II Vanguard, which of course is supposed to be the new Call of Duty title coming out this year in 2021. Still no confirmation if that's going to be the official name yet or not. But there have been a lot of rumors coming out from Sledgehammer and Activision that they're saying that the old gen consoles are holding the game back. I find this kind of interesting uh, in a couple different ways. One reason is, of course, we all know any old gen software is going to hold a game back. If they're trying to do something new and inventive, of course, you know, the difference between a PS4 and a PS5 or an Xbox One and an Xbox Series X, for example, you're going to have to be able to have better graphics, better frames, you do more with those newer consoles. But they should know if you're trying to find a console like I am and you're trying to buy one at retail price and not pay, you know, an over, you know, a large price over, you know, the retail price from a scalper or something like that, you've probably had a hard time finding one. I've still not been able to find a, you know, or get a console at retail price yet. And so they should know that a lot of people aren't going to have new gen consoles just yet. So a lot of that's going to be an issue probably for the next couple, you know, months, maybe even next year. Who knows? We'll kind of have to wait and see, uh, you know, kind of how quick Sony and Microsoft get new gen consoles put out over the summer. But just overall, of course, you know, just if it was any year, all of us would know that they're going to put most COD titles on old gen. They're not going to go straight new gen right off the bat. So this would be something that would hold it back a little bit. But at the same time, I'm kind of wondering if Sledgehammer and Activision are using this as an excuse because there's been a lot of grumbles about another World War II game anyway. And in my opinion, Sledgehammer's kind of gotten thrown into the fire once again by Activision, kind of like Treyarch did. You know, when the whole thing went down with Sledgehammer to begin with and Treyarch had to take over uh, and make Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War, they didn't really have a whole lot of time compared to what they would have had in past years to make their game. So I'm wondering if they're trying to go ahead and make that excuse to kind of make up for, um, you know, maybe a lack of sales, a lack of interest, whatever the case may be, because... It seems to me, and we've talked about this in several other videos, either either you were either a fan of Call of Duty World War II or you weren't. So that's kind of, I think, how the community is sitting kind of about the Vanguard game or kind of where they're sitting right now. There's no real opinion of, well, I don't, I don't really mind it. I'm going to play it, uh, you know, that kind of thing. It's either I really like World War II, so I'm looking forward to it, or I really hated World War II, so I'm probably not going to buy it. And I'm wondering if Activision and Sledgehammer have heard those grumbles, so they're going to try to use the next-gen version of the game as kind of an excuse or, you know, the old-gen holding it back considering they can't make it just for new gen or if it really is a big concern that old gen is really just holding the game back from what they want to do for some new vision that they have something new they're wanting to try the other part that was kind of interesting about this leak as well is it looks like the next iw game so next year's call of duty not this year not 2021 but 2022 cod is most likely going to be put on old gen as well and we all know how this works normally most games are usually still put on new gen and old gen consoles for a couple years after a new gen is released. So I'm going to be really curious to see if they say next year that old gen still holding it back. There's a lot of rumors that some other games coming out this year, Battlefield being one of them, that it may only be on new gen. I'm kind of curious to see if that actually happens as well, because as I said to begin with, new gen consoles are hard to get a hold of unless you're going to, unless you get really lucky or you're going to pay a, a, you know, a higher price for one. So hopefully, uh, the whole console situation will get fixed eventually. And I'm also hoping that a lot of these games are going to start, you know, being made just for new gen when they're available to everyone. And, you know, if you want one, you're able to go out and get it. In my opinion, it's kind of bad to, you know, look at a game and say, well, it's not going to be any good because, you know, it's going to be made for old gen if people cannot go out and get, you know, a new gen console if they're really wanting it. But leave me a comment with your thoughts. And of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. If you are a subscriber, make sure you have notifications turned on so you know when everything goes live here on the channel. Of course, if you like the video, I'd appreciate a like, comment, that kind of stuff. And make sure you check out everything down in the description, the community discord, my Twitter, and of course, the affiliate here on the channel, Empire Jerky, the website, along with a 5% discount code you can use at checkout is linked in the description as well. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.